guys, Amber here. I'm just here to um, talk about some eyeshadow palettes I've been using lately. I've been really like going through my collection and you know trying to use things and I think it's a lot of fun. So I thought I'd share with you what I've been using in the past few weeks. Yeah, let's get started. So um, I've, I've used this once in the past few weeks, but I didn't want to talk about it because it was a really nice look that I came up with, I thought. So this is from Violet Voss, and this is the Fruit Sorbet. This is a little fun-sized palette. Look how cool that looks. I think it's so fun. I got this in one of my Ipsy's. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, it's crazy. This is a like a nudie color. It looks white on camera, but anyways, yes, I love, I really, really like this palette. I don't know if I'm going to say love, because I still need to test it out. This is the second time I've used it, and I did kind of like a purpley look. It was really nice. Um, I used like these shades. It's not this look here, although I could definitely get this look with this except for the the gold shimmer this only has like a few shimmers in it. it has the green shimmer and the blue shimmer the black shimmer and the white shimmer which is kind of a weird combo but yes this is this was really fun I enjoyed it I think it lasted pretty well in my eyes and I think I did have to bring in some other palettes to like round out the look because you know if you want to deepen it up there's not really many colors so i think i did have to bring in some deeper colors of like red in there i think i might have brought in my blood sugar palette okay it, it was a really nice look i think i did it for a holiday party so it was like very ready looking it was nice i enjoyed it and then I used this once over the past few weeks, my Blue Bud palette, and I wanted like a really icy look for the holiday party that I went to. So this one really worked out very well. I um, put blue blood in my crease, and then I went in with Blue Monday which is this really cool electric blue here. And that looked beautiful. I taped it up with Undertaker down here. And then all over my lid, what did I use? I think I used a combo. I used, oh yeah, I did. I used ocean blue like towards the outer part of my lid. And then, which is here, this cool sparkly shade. And then I used ice tray, which is one of my favorite ones. Which is a really icy blue up there. I loved it. It was pretty. And then I wore red lips, which was probably not a really good thing to do because then I just looked very patriotic. But whatever, I liked it. This I wore a few days ago. So this is the palette that I have one shade in my project pan. So sneak peek, even though it's only been a few days. I thought since I was focusing on that shade that I would actually use the palette. Uh -huh. I know, weird concept, but so this is what it looks like. And honestly, I wasn't very impressed with the look I came up with. So I did use the Divinity all over the lid, which I usually just do anyways. Um, and then I used Mocha in the crease. And then I used Bordeaux. Bordeaux, this brownie red color here to deepen it, and I think that day I was just having like a very watery eye day, <laughs> so things weren't sticking very well, and it just kind of looked muddy and blah. Um, I used almond truffle to kind of blend everything out, and then I used satin sheets, which is one of my favorite shades in here, um, on my lid there right in there it was okay um it was it wasn't as it wasn't so terrible that I had to take it off but it wasn't my favorite thing ever so I don't know how 
much I'll be using the rest of the palette, maybe here and there when I'm using the Divinity shade, the white shade, and I just don't feel like looking for another palette, I'll use it, but it was okay. <laughs> and then I've used this Butter London palette that I got, I think I got this in the BoxyCharm a few months back. But this one I had a love-hate relationship with. I used it the first time and I really liked it, and then I used it the second time and I hated it. <laughs> and then I used it this time and I liked it. So I think the second time was a fluke. Oh boy. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Very pretty shades. The blue is kind of weird in here, and I don't think I've really used the blue very much because I'm like, what do I do with you? <laughs> but, and I did, I think I did have to bring in some, another palette for this. I really like the shade Star in here, and that's the one I used. I used Star and I used Diva, but I mainly used um, Star. I got, I got another palette for like the crease shade. I think I have that palette over here somewhere. Yes. Ooh. I used this palette for the crease shade here, and I probably used Positivity. So. And, um, and then I used Temptress to deepen it up, this brown here. And then I used Star, like pretty much all over the lid. And I just topped it with Diva kind of like on the outer lid. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. So I think, I think I like this, I can finally say, which is good. And then I use a ColourPop palette. Um, it's my pleasure, one of the little purple ones. I really, really liked this look. I think it was a gorgeous. There's just some beautiful shades in here. It's kind of dusty. But it just has every purple you need for a purple look. I didn't have to um, dip into any other palettes because, you know, I wasn't really missing anything for this. So I believe I went into fan fiction this one here for like the crease shade and then I kind of deepened it up a little bit with the pretty cool here because it's just a very interesting shade and they deepened it up even more with sleeper down here at the bottom and then I put earth shine all over the lid so I think that's my favorite one it's kind of it kind of has a dual um, shift to it. It's like pink to purple with like glitter. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. And then I used the Winky Lux palette. And this is um, the Cashmere Kitten palette. This one is was pretty good. The weird thing about it is that it has like an oil spot in it. And I've heard someone talk about another palette having that too. So I think it's just the wetness of this shade here. Cause see, look at that. It's kind of strange. I don't notice any like other weird things happening. So I think it's just that that shade is a little oily. But I'll definitely keep a close look on it. I really do like it. It's a very nice um, alternative to just a plain neutral palette. It's got those really dusty shades to it, which I really like. Um, I think it's been a few, it's been um, like a week since I used this, but. So I think I went in with this pink shade here and then I mixed it with this over here. They don't have names. Um, and then I deepened it up with this purple shade and then I put this all over the lid. I did try this but it's very sheer. It's a very pretty shifty shade but I'll show you. It's like a pinky white shifty shade. It just looks white. <laughs> Let me see if I it's hard to show the pink shift to it but it didn't really show up very well on my lid so yeah I did like it and 
I definitely need to use it more to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I like it. And then, a few days ago, I used this new ColourPop palette I got, which is a whatever palette. One of my last hurrahs <laughs> buying a bunch of makeup for the holidays. Um, I am happy with this palette. The only thing I didn't realize is that it did have um, a pressed glitter, which I'm not too excited for, but I really do like the color story. <laughs> what I did, I did like an orangey look, I think. I went in with Copycat, which is that one there. And then, oh yeah, I went in with Bad Guy, which is that one there, and like the outer crease. And then I deepened it up with Bright Side, Miss Bright Side, which is that one there. It's like a purpley red color. And then I put Tardy all over my lid, which this is like a super shock. And I did not know that. Isn't that weird? I've never seen them do that before. But yeah, it was good. Oh yeah, on the outer lid I did this one too. TTYN. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was nice. I definitely have to use it more. Like them all. Constantly trying to use all my palettes. <laughs> Alright, and then I used this in the past few weeks. It's my little palette that I put together and it has a bunch of cool shades in it. It's got Leona shades at the top. I think up until like here is Cleona and then these are Sydney Grace and this is a random Urban Decay uh, this is the balm <laughs> blush uh, Ofra powder and Ciate highlighter <laughs> I can't believe I remembered all that but I did a very a very nice like purpley look and I used this yesterday so I went in with this shade here, this lavendery shade, and it really was very pigmented. So I was pretty happy about that. And then there wasn't really very much in here to deepen the look with. So I kind of tried just to do it with this one here, this really army green color. And it actually looked nice. I was pretty happy about it. And then to kind of blend it out on the top, I used this blue color, which worked. So. It was like a gray, it looked kind of gray, gray, lavender-y, purpley. It was nice, I liked it. And then as the, the lid shade, I used this one here. Closer look for you. It's right there. It's so beautiful. It's got like a, like a tiny blue shift to it. I really like this palette a lot that I put together. <laughs> it's very fun. And then what I have on today, um, I used uh, the Dragon Child palette from Menagerie Cosmetics, I think that's their name. On this, they, um, they're called Makeup Monsters because that used to be their name. And this is a limit, or this is a one that they discontinued, unfortunately. It's a really good palette and it's hollow, as you can see. It's gorgeous. It's got like a beautiful picture up here. And then these are the colors. So, I really dug into Flame Tongue, this one here, and it looks just like a regular red on here, but it is like an orangey red, and it's very interesting. So, I packed that in my crease here. To deepen it up and to make it a little bit more interesting, I put Mother of Dragon, and yeah, and I think that's except for the lid color of course I used Firefly which is this very beautiful yellow color really pretty yellow I am very happy with this look I wish I was going somewhere <laughs> but yeah I really like it. I think it complements my eye color um, but that's it that's pretty much all the palettes I've used in the last few weeks I could be forgetting some but anyways Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you guys have these palettes um, and if you like them or if you don't. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.